Guys, quick, subscribe to the channel in the next 10 seconds or nothing is actually going to happen. Honestly, like only 20% of you guys who watch my content are subscribed. So if you really want to support me as a creator, just please consider subscribing if you enjoy this video. That's actually all I ask for you to do. It's completely free. You can always unsubscribe in the future if you don't enjoy my content anymore. Just please give me a chance. Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Fetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys what are the current top 5 best gaming mouses, specifically for Fortnite. Now everything I mentioned in this video is morally subjective, so I may put the number 5 position you may think deserves to be either higher up on the list and what I may put as number one so technically the best mouse on the list personally you may actually hate that mouse in terms of lux how it feels you might have tried the mouse and not enjoyed it but honestly what I'm giving you in this video the information is not only coming from myself and the confidence I have in these mice but also the current meta and what pro players are using and hopping on to but before we get into this if you guys go ahead to enjoy the video the least you can do for me is drop a like really does support the channel if you also want to go the extra mile you can subscribe we're climbing so close to 60,000 subscribers right now and it would be really dope to hit that so I can only suggest that you guys do consider subscribing like just clicking that red subscribe button has to get close to my goals every single day oh and I almost forgot I have been slacking on the creator code shouts recently those who are using code fetch in the item shop so I want to give a huge shout out to spook spectral marshmallow short libby dario Ween, and mons shout out to all of you for using my code in the item shop really does help support me as a creator like it means the most to me if you want to get a shower just like that all you have to do put my code in the item shop you don't actually have to buy anything just whack it into to the item shop, send proof in my discord and it's that simple. So getting straight into this, the last thing I want to do is beat around the bush here. We are just going to hop straight into today's list and I will be going from like number 5 to number 1. So number 5 is basically going to be the worst mouse or what I consider is the worst mouse on the list out of the 5 I'm going to mention. And number 1 will basically be the best mouse. So as I go along, the mouses will in some way get better. Of course, in some way it's subjective. But hear me out guys, I have reasoning for like everything I mentioned in this video. Some of it may be controversial, we can have an argument in the comments. But hopping straight into this, number 5. Now, number 5 would be the glorious model O. Now this is gonna cause some uproar in the comments but you watching this video I may be actually using the model O. Now it's a great mice in terms of price, budget, like it's £50 not in weight like actual currency. I think that's about $65 something like that that's like 60 euros like you can work that out for yourself but it's a pretty affordable mouse like I used to think it was cheaper than this like for what it is this price isn't the best. Now design wise the mouse it looks good it's very children orientated like in terms are like a 13 year old maybe playing fortnite orientated it's got rgb you know better fps rgb maybe kids when they get better fps with this i don't know like it's definitely appealing to the eye you got a little red scroll with some glorious logo on the side i don't know this mouse could be simpler in terms of its design they do also sell this in a gloss so you can get it in glossy black or white personally i'm not a fan of the gloss idea maybe some kids enjoy that but gloss is terrible when you sweat your hand is just slipping off that thing like a slip and slide it's not fun and it might opinion the gloss just doesn't look nice it looks like a very cheap tacky mouse guys don't get me wrong i'm not here to like trash talk the mouse or the way it looks it's personal preference subjective i've told you this but on the actual product description when purchasing this mouse what it says is honeycomb surface for strength and comfort now comfort i don't know if that makes the mouse more comfortable maybe you get more grip like i really wouldn't know how this right here would make the mouse more comfortable like generally does it you glorious model o owners comment down below does it really make it feel comfortable like i just can't see that being a thing and one thing it also said here is honeycomb surface for strength now tell me how i really like somewhat cheap mouse in terms of the materials at least and i've heard a lot about these mouses actually breaking at times how does cutting out holes in the mouse and making it in some way thinner how does that in any way translate to strength like if anything surely the mouse is weaker and where these like hexagon honeycomb patterns are like like this plastic here could surely snap a lot easier like right am i the only one who thinks that in some way the reason for this like honeycomb design is because it's meant to be an extremely lightweight mouse that's kind of the selling point for this mouse it isn't how it looks it just looks too much it looks a bit tacky it looks cheap but the main selling point has been its weight how extremely lightweight this really is now as you can see here it's apparently 67 to 68 grams i'm pretty sure that's what this means now that is extremely light like it's definitely the lightest mouse is on the market right now so i guess that's good and also i've heard this mouse is optical which means clicks on the mouse and stuff like that do register a lot faster than your traditional mouse i guess this is what 
pushes it to like the whole gaming side like this is apparently built for speed control and comfort the whole comfort side I don't know like the mouse size and shape it's meant to in some way replicate the final mouse and I have heard things that although this is a very small mouse like it does feel and look somewhat the same but I don't know for me this mouse just never did it a lot of my friends had this mouse and they did have issues with it I know some people that also did have this mouse and had no issues with it like I think it does also depend on the player who is using the mouse stuff like that but overall this definitely does deserve to be number five on my list it used to have a ton of hype around it and it's kind of died down quite recently a lot of pros are not using this mouse and I'm sure there's a bigger reason behind that and swiftly moving on the next mouse I'm going to talk about this will place fourth on my list and that is going to be the Logitech G402 Hyperion Fury wired gaming mouse that's a tongue twister people just call this the Logitech G402 that's the, what the mouse is so in terms of price it's 37 GBP so 37 pounds I think it's around 45 dollars roughly like maybe 50 dollars at a push like all in I think that's also around 40 euros so if I'm correct this is actually cheaper than the glorious mouse as well and I do think this is generally better now if we are to compare this to the glorious in terms of weight this is 144 grams which is also more than double the weight of the glorious so this is actually going to be a whole lot heavier maybe a great mouse for you guys with high sense and now the reason I've actually put it number four over the glorious is mainly because of mongrel mongrel has actually used this mouse for so long now and he actually got a lot of pro players onto the trend now for how generally kind of cheap this mouse looks like it doesn't look like anything too crazy I mean in my opinion it looks a lot more expensive or premium than the glorious for example again but mongrel has been loving this thing like he used it like way back in his OG days of Fortnite and it's kind of been like his go-to mouse which he's always just enjoyed and now although that does make my review and ranking this mouse kind of biased like I do think there's a reason mongrel uses this he's like one of the best players in the game and if you know mongrel you know how well he plays with this like it can't be a bad mouse if you think about it that way and of course it comes down to opinion this maybe just felt nice in his hand I've actually felt this mouse for myself and it felt super good for the price you're paying like forget the way it's generally just an amazing mouse I know some of you guys do like like lighter mice but personally for me I really don't think it means that much like it still isn't that heavy 144 grams I know it's on the heavier side but by all means it's not like this thing is a brick like you're not literally dragging a brick across your desk like it's still gonna be fairly easy to move and navigate across your mouse pad and also what's great about this is like I've never actually seen issues about it the glorious again for an example I've seen a lot of issues like the cable there's been cable issues the mouse has just generally been breaking I've never heard one valid complaint about the G402 like I feel this thing in terms of build quality is definitely very hefty and all of the cable like the stock cable on this mouse does not look too good surprisingly it isn't bad and Mongol actually used this mouse with his stock cable for way too long and he never had issues in terms of performance he just used a mouse bungee and this thing would have felt near to wireless also one thing I should probably mention this thing has like three side buttons in terms of like actual side buttons which you can program I guess like the actual clicky like mouse wheel which you can click in that counts as another button maybe you could use it as another button that'll count as four but you can actually have like three mouse button like side button things so you could have like mouse button one mouse button two and mouse button three with this mouse it's also another good thing I'm pretty sure the glorious only has two side buttons which means if we were to put this in Fortnite term you could only actually set two building pieces like in total to your mouse so let's say that was your wall and stair which is like the traditional two side button mechanics you'd be using on a mouse with the G402 you could use all three and have your wall your stair and maybe even your cone like it would make things so much more convenient and accessible that I feel is always a bonus as well and like I'm forgetting so many things the G402 is generally very available like you can get this thing anywhere and I know the glorious the availability for it has never been that good I'm not sure about now now like the hype has kind of died down a bit but I used to know the glorious used to be so hard to cop but with like anything Logitech usually like they're always in stock it, like you can just get them very very readily available and now moving on I'm gonna try and go through this video a little quicker now now at number three we have the final mouse now another mouse which kind of died down the hype for this was crazy like and I mean crazy when it first dropped but pros are still using this mouse I know Booga was going in between using this at one point now he's not using it and then he's using it and then he's not using it like he's very indecisive but I feel like it's what makes him a good player like he really wants to find what works best for him but one pro I do know that recently was using this mouse at least so I think like literally a week ago I seen him have it on stream and at one point he was using this for a great deal of time and that is Benji Fishy like he'd be using the Ninja Final Mouse Air 50 in Cherry Blossom Blue for so long and he loves a mouse like quite obviously he literally uses it over any other mouse and you gotta remember this is Benji Fishy he has the ability to just grab whatever mouse he wants and he really focuses competitive and he's still been using this for so long and there probably is a reason behind that now again it may just be personal preference but this mouse is generally not bad and the reason I also put this above maybe the glorious is not only just because it looks a thousand times better but also that both the cable is better
but uh, and although the final mouse is actually lighter so the final mouse is literally 58 grams so even lighter than the glorious which is one of the lightest mice on the market so yeah the final mouse is literally lighter that doesn't affect its actual build quality now the glorious looks very in some way cheap tacky material whereas the final mouse it looks so much more sturdy and well built like the design to this the honeycomb is like actually more thick material if that makes sense so it's thicker and it just looks so much stronger generally is a lot more of a sturdy and well put together built mouse it also looks better visually just personally i think it looks a lot more seamless and clean also this is a lot bigger in your hand so it should be a little bit more comfortable for the most part and i don't know man this is just a generally good mouse it's been known for me a good mouse at one point it was the best mouse everyone used it everyone wanted it the hype was intense and now it's died down a bit again this mouse is still very 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 hard to get like it's super unavailable they haven't restocked them in a long time they don't plan on restocking them it was almost like an exclusive drop and i don't think ninja even works with the company anymore so if you actually go to the final mouse website like you cannot get these final mouse have been like almost quiet for a very long time if i actually go back here to actual products you can see all the mice are sold out like literally everything is sold out they were a decent price for what they were when they first dropped but now if you want to buy these things you're looking at around 153 pounds which is equivalent to about 200 dollars and that's excluding tax and potential import fees as well and now you can kind of only get this thing like refurbished or considered second hand or what people actually did they did buy them dead stock didn't use them and are now trying to sell them off and flip them for a higher price like this mouse is literally only gaining value and you can't get this thing pretty any lower than 200 dollars like not long ago i was actually gonna cop one of these for myself and buy one on twitter someone was selling one like actually someone i kind of know and he was selling this as like what was deemed a reasonable price for 250 dollars now that for a mouse is wild most traditional mice are around 60 to at most a hundred dollars now 200 dollars that's out of pocket bro i can't even lie so of course the price does bring this down on the list but generally it's one of the best all-round mice you can buy like it's really good for performance and now for the number two spot we have the logitech g pro wireless now actually you can see my screen right here i have this mouse myself so if i bring it up to the camera you can't really see it but yeah i have the logitech g pro wireless it's a great mouse i have um these hyper glides which just make the mouse glide a little better on my glorious mouse pad but yeah this is honestly the best mouse i've ever used so personally it's my favorite now the reason it's at number two i'll explain it later in the video but it's a great mouse also i do know that pros literally booger this was actually the mouse that got him off his final mouse so he switched from the final mouse to the g pro wireless and then he actually did switch to the number one spot which i will talk about in literally like two minutes from now but he, yeah he switched from the final mouse this got him from the final mouse which bear in mind booger loved the final mouse he literally used that mouse at world cup and won three million dollars and he actually switched from this to the g pro wireless and he was using this mouse for a long time a ton of pros do actually actively use this mouse it's one of the more popular ones out there right now and the reason for that is probably because it's wireless like that is definitely one of the biggest selling points it's also considered ultra lightweight so it is what will be deemed an extremely lightweight mouse the mouse comes in at 80 grams on the dot so very nearly half the weight of the g402 and only around 20 to 30 grams more than both the glorious model o and the final mouse so yeah this mouse almost just meets in the middle you can also make this either heavier or lighter when you buy it so it is coming like this little magnet thing so it's like this little thing that you put in and what you can do is you can put weights into this part and obviously you put the weights in and this is magnets back in kind of which yeah it gives you the option it gives you the ability to do that so you can buy this mouse and if you like it lighter use it lighter and if you want it heavier you have the option too it's like the perfect balance like literally when i say this mouse is heaven in terms of its balance it really is and i also do think the general weight so without any weights in it which i think is 80 grams without the weight it's like the perfect weight you don't really need much lighter than this you don't really need much heavier than this i feel like anything more or less is just generally overkill like this works fine for me many pros have used this stock and it's been fine also it's wireless so you have so much freedom and flexibility with this and like i know people say you can use a mouse bungee with a wired mouse and it will still feel good it never does feel this good like this sounds really dramatic but a wireless mouse has changed the way i play and also changed my life like it actually is easier to do general things on my pc like we get fortnite and i'll be just sitting on my bed controlling this thing on a buck and just watch youtube on my monitor like i'm built different but you can literally take this downstairs if you want to go and eat your food downstairs take your mouse with you you gotta love this mouse this thing is gonna be hitting those 200 pumps for you oh seriousness it's just a generally good mouse no booga switched to it at one point many pros have been using this it's one of the most popular mice out there right now just generally on the market in not only my opinion but pro play opinion it's definitely worthy of number two on this list also i actually almost forgot this mouse just generally looks so nice it really does it looks amazing like as you can see it's so clean like it really is very very clean it's bluetooth capability is one of the best as well like you will have no latency with this mouse it's almost like you're plugging it in it's not even bluetooth i don't think it's just like a wireless 
wireless port or adapter you get with it, people usually worry about that. Now, you have no worrying to do with this mouse. It's so responsive. And yeah, just look how clean it is. What? Like, why would you not want to buy this? And as I almost forgot once again, this has four side buttons. You can't really see it here. Like, if you look to the right, there's four side buttons. Like, there's so much you can do with this mouse. And now, what you guys have all waited for, the number one spot. That is going to be the Razer Viper Ultimate Wireless Optical Gaming Mouse. You heard that right. It's wireless. It's optical. So extremely fast. Like, hands down, on par with the G Pro. It's wireless. You have so much freedom. And it looks beautiful. Now, you can get this in different colors. White, pink. You can literally get this in pink. And it looks great. It's got the Razer logo. Like, Razer is just, it's such an iconic brand for, like, peripherals. Just gaming in general. And I know Razer really did fall off the market. Like, at one point, Razer mice, keyboards, they just weren't it. They just really died out. They were, like, what people used back in Minecraft, like, five to seven years ago. They completely died. But, you know, they came back with a bang. They dropped the Razer Viper Ultima. And, honestly, this thing is insane. So, I don't have this myself. My sister literally has this, bro. And, obviously, I live with my sister. I've used this. It's so nice. So many pros are switching to it. I'm pretty sure Booga literally has just switched to this mouse. And, he said he loved it. Like, he's using this mouse right now, I'm pretty sure. But, this guy's indecisive. He's probably changed it already. But, I know Mongrel also switched to this mouse. Another pro, E11 Boya, switched to this mouse. And, he's loving it. So many pros are switching to this. Like, honestly, this is a trend right now. It's like, that meta. It. This is like glorious model low level hype. Everyone's jumping to this mouse and this thing is 60 grams. That is so light. Compared to what I mentioned on this list, the fact this is wireless and also 60 grams, like definitely can be considered an ultra lightweight mouse. It's just like the best of both worlds. But this is a great mouse. You guys need to buy this. Not an ad. Guys, this ain't raise it. Like if you want to send me one of these for myself, so it isn't just my sister, I'm happy to receive one. And with that all being said, guys, that is all I have in today's video. There really isn't much more I need to talk about. And hopefully this video isn't too long. I think I just talk so much like I really just do but if you watch this point of the video comment candy corn that literally the word candy corn so when I upload this video maybe Halloween so if it is happy Halloween if it's not it's like Halloween Eve so happy Halloween Eve is that is that a thing Halloween Eve I don't even know but comment candy corn down below if you got to this point of the video if you did also drop a like like what are you doing and unsubscribe like if you're not subscribed yet and you watch the whole video just subscribe please but I hope everyone has an amazing day it's been a bit fetch and yeah peace